one of the ideas that has motivated Afro-pessimism comes out of a book called Slavery and Social Death. I won't go through all of it, it's a very long book, but I'm gonna oversimplify this argument. He makes an argument and he says, anytime you have a civilized society, um, which is to say a society that is not simply people who have no tribal hierarchy and people who are like hunter-gatherers. They, were, In other words, what I'm trying to say is that a society that is not agriculturally based and a society that is not industrially based, and that's almost, there's almost no society like that in the world anymore, okay? But you get these concepts that come out of these societies, right? And so there's going to be class divisions, there are going to be gender divisions, but you also get another kind of division. And that's a division between those who have the right to be part of society and those who do not have the right to be part of society. And he makes a very provocative uh, argument and claim in this book. And he says, if you, do, if you have a stratified or civilized society and you do not have either present in the body form or in the mind some kind of figure who is not an absolute outsider if you don't have some kind of figure who is not an absolute outsider someone who has no right to have rights someone who um, has no consent to be violated um, someone who not, is not necessarily in chains, but cannot be recognized as a member of a community. If you do not have some figure that is completely outside of community, that you can point to and say, hey, that figure can never be part of community, then what happens to the people who are community, who are part of the society, they begin to wonder who they are. What is their identity? How can you know what the word freedom means if you cannot point to the word slavery. Simple terms, but hopefully not simplistic terms, is that he's arguing that slavery has always been a necessary component of any so-called civilized society. And he says it doesn't have to be people in chains chopping cotton. The Ming Dynasty had slaves and they did not chop cotton but they were civil servants, they wore robes, but they were understood to be absolute outsiders, people whose lives were possessed by everyone else, and yet they wore very nice garments and worked in the civil service of the Ming Dynasty.